One of the biggest lessons that was gained in, during the last, I think, decade of genomic studies of cancer is that cancer is a very heterogeneous disease. And it's a complicated disease. But there are common features that are unique to all cancer cells that if we understand them, we yield abilities to either diagnose cancer early and also to intervene and to use advanced molecular targets for treatment. And because cancer is so complicated, we need a reductionist view. We need a more simple system that could encompass whole genome and rapidly test predictions that we have in model system to the relevance in cancer cells and in human patients. So to have a simple model organism to study cancer, we actually use the fruit fly Drosophila. That's the same fly you know from the rotten bananas and fruits. More than 85% of the genes that are involved in cancer are highly relevant to flies, existing flies, and can be studied using fruit flies. Cancer is a disease related to aging. But aging is complicated to study, both in human and mice, because an aged mice is at least two, three, or five years old. And human aging, it's about decades. However, an old fly is a four to five weeks old fly, which means that the system or the, to study aging in fruit flies is a question of a month. The same processes that affect aging in vertebrates, in mammals, in humans, are very similar to what we see in the fruit flies. The structure of the DNA, the way it is regulated, is very similar to the one of humans, but much more simple. So if you take all the advantages in fruit flies, the similarity of the genes, the structure, and the ease of working with fruit flies that are great for imaging, for microscopy, altogether makes the fruit fly an excellent model if you want to take a new road and find new pathways in the study of cancer. To do this, we have what is probably the most important part of the lab, a team of researchers that is able to do all those things. On one hand, we have master and PhD and postdoctoral uh, students who do both the fly work the genetics, and also the mammalian tissue culture work of cancer cells. But we also have, an, as an integral part of the lab, clinicians, physicians who take time off of their clinical work and really bring the clinic back to the lab. I'm now doing a PhD project on melanoma. I'm doing it here in the Orian's lab in the Technion Faculty of Medicine. Specifically, I investigate the factors that are required for melanoma cells proliferation, and uh, invasion and survival. Melanoma is still very aggressive disease, so everything that we can do to improve melanoma patients' poor survival will be of benefit to these patients. The Technion Faculty of Medicine, it's really close to my clinic, and sometimes I can combine the two things in the same day, for example, I can see patients and then I afterwards I can come and do some lab work. At least one gene that we started to investigate about seven years ago in the fruit flies is now proved to be highly relevant to colon cancer, where it is elevated in about 30% of a subgroup of colon cancer patients. My lab is situated in a fantastic center, when nearby I have excellent labs who are expert in the microenvironment of tumor cells, cancer cell migration, the biochemistry of cancer cells, and this lab of Professor Chekanover, Voldavsky, and Neufeld, and other professors, all together create a core that allow us really to study in detail uh, specific cancer targets, hoping that this basic finding could rapidly be translated to the clinical arena.